Is wind energy really environmentally friendly? Protecting the environment has been gaining more and more attention since a couple of decades ago. Wind energy, solar energy, tide energy, and microbiology energy are all being considered as the future alternative energy resources for environmental protection. Since it does not release any air pollution, wind power is one of President Obama's plans to prevent global warming caused by pollution. Therefore, wind energy is one of the fastest growing energy sources in the U.S. Wind farms are clusters of turbines as tall as 30-story buildings, with spinning rotors as wide as a passenger jet's wingspan. Though the blades appear to move slowly, they can reach speeds up to 170 miles per hour at the tips, creating tornado-like vortexes. While the industry is greatly expanding, wind farms in 10 states have killed at least 85 eagles since 1997, with the most deaths occurring between 2008 and 2012. A majority of them were golden eagles that struck wind turbines. One of the eagles counted in the study was electrocuted by a power line. According to a new scientific study by government biologists, wind energy facilities have killed at least 67 golden and bald eagles in the last five years, but the figure could be much higher. Also, the figure is likely to be substantially underestimated since companies report eagle deaths voluntarily. During their entire search for dead birds, wind energy companies discovered that only a fraction of the deaths were caused by wind turbines. But the study excluded the deadliest place in the country for eagles, a cluster of wind farms in a northern California area known as Altamont Pass. Wind farms built there decades ago kill more than 60 birds a year. Wind farms in California and Wyoming are responsible for 58 deaths this year, followed by facilities in Oregon, New Mexico, Colorado, Washington, Utah, Texas, Maryland, and Iowa. In all, 32 facilities were implicated. One wind farm in Wyoming was responsible for a dozen deaths of golden eagles. The most occurred at a single facility. The Obama administration has failed to fine or prosecute wind energy companies, even though each death is a violation of federal law. The Fish and Wildlife Service has expressed that it is investigating 18 bird death cases involving wind power facilities, and seven have been referred to the Justice Department. The American Wind Energy Association said in a statement that the figure was much lower than other causes of eagle deaths. The association claims that it is currently working with the government and conservation groups to find ways to reduce eagle casualties. However, how to balance between saving wildlife and generating green energy should be the crucial issue for all of us.